see something I know. Tis the season for all things about love, and what better way to celebrate than with a little bubbly to toast in a new and happy Valentine's Day with Rosa Regali, a unique red sparkler. Scott Gaffney from Banthe Ventures is here. Red, I, this is, the color is enchanting in itself. You know, it's a very sexy color. We enjoy Rosa Regali all times throughout the year, but specifically on Valentine's Day, it's really a great match. And oh. it has a great history of romance, too. Oh, tell me all about it. Well, you know, back in the day when Cleopatra used to be wooed by Mark Antony and Julius Caesar, that's pretty romantic. That's romantic enough for me. But uh, it's, uh, you know, with wine, you always have to have a nice story. This wine comes from northern Italy. It's been with us centuries. Brachetto is the name of the grape variety in it. But we just coined it as Rosa Regali. Ah. And so now, okay, so Brachetta is the, and it's a Brachetta. red grape, or is it a? No, it's a red, it's a red grape. And um, uh, it's 100% Brachetto. And it's always been vinified to make this wine that's a fully charged wine. So it's frothy. You can see how it's oh, like. Oh, it's beautiful. It's, it's a fully charged and bubbly. And it just slightly sweet and but it has good acidity so it pairs up extremely well with chocolate that's why I put chocolate out here especially Yum. dark chocolate just in time for Valentine's Day but you were telling me also that it's not just something that you can have like after dinner or with dessert it's it can span the entire day if, if you're adventurous <laughs> right <laughs> traditionally I mean it's good at breakfast too as we were improving here today but uh, you know it's great at the end of the meal. It's usually paired up with fruits, raspberries, strawberries, blueberries, but it's good with wine, uh, food that are, are savory too as well. Oh. Savory foods like maybe quiche or, you know, for a salad for lunch, you could have some goat cheese and some beets. You know, it can really cut through that very nicely. And it's only 7% alcohol. Most wines are about 12, 13, 14% alcohol. So if you have a glass, it's not going to slow you down too much. You'll be okay. And you so can I can really start on this at 4 a.m.? Absolutely. <laughs> Don't tell the boss. <laughs> All right, wh what does it cost? I mean, it's absolutely beautifully and exquisite, the color. Mm -hmm. Well, the Rose of God, this is what we call a 750 milliliter. This is the one you'll find in most distribution, and it's found anywhere you're going to buy fine wine. It's in grocery stores as well. It's about $22 a bottle for the uh, 750 milliliter. This is a 375, the half bottle. So that'll come in a little bit, you know, a little bit less, you know, probably around, you know, 14, 15 bucks. And uh, we do use these a lot in restaurants. These 187s, we call them splits, they're one servings. And they're perfect, and you know you can find these in retail as well. You know they'll be around ten dollars a bottle. Well, yeah. Well, it's interesting. Something that's so unique, and the color is just so different mm -hmm. from what you usually get in a sparkling wine. I don't think I've ever seen it, but you're saying it's everywhere. Yeah, it's been out there. Brachetto, as like I said, has been with us for centuries. There are brachettos in the market, but we really have branded this with just called Rosa Regali. And yeah, you do find it out there, and uh, you know you'll see it in great wine lists. Like I'll know I'll probably enjoy some tomorrow with Tuscan Grill with my buddy Gabby, and uh, it, it's it's just fantastic at the end of the meal or in the beginning, or, you know, really any time. But Valentine's Day, it's especially sweet. It's very, very romantic. Very romantic. And I bet it probably could even go with, like, Asian food because you think of, like, for example, a Riesling. This kind of has that same sweet quality to you, it. You know, it's a great point. We, you can cut kind of the spicy mm -hmm. with a little bit of sweet, and this has just that little bit of sweet, so it's really a perfect match. It really kind of, they kind of balance each other very well, absolutely. And you know what, I love it as a gift, because if you if you go to like a New Year's Eve party or something like that, mm -hmm. and you're taking champagne, you know, this stands out because of that beautiful, vibrant color. Uh, absolutely, you know, on Valentine's Day, we say give the gift of love, uh -huh. you know, with, with Rosa Regali, so it's really a perfect gift to compliment, you know, and a little, little chocolate, maybe a little flower. You know, it's a very romantic bottle too, so maybe after you finish it, it's perfect to hold a single red rose in it. Wow, Scott, you're just wooing people today. <laughs> Thank you on that note. Salute. Happy Valentine's Happy Day. Happy Valentine's Day. I'll drink a little later after yes. I read this. We'll get you a bottle, too. Oh, oh, thank you. Well, for more information on Rosa Regali, visit her website or their website, rosaregali.com. Natalie, over to you.